Here we have a number of different algebraic equations, and we want to solve for x. Uh, the thing that relates all, three, all uh, four or five of these equations is that they use inverse operations. So we'll see what that means in a second. So let's look at the first one here. x plus 8 equals 10. So we can't just simplify one side of the equation. We actually have to do what's called an inverse operation to get rid of this 8 here. So we need to subtract 8 from both sides. The inverse of addition is subtraction. So if we subtract 8 from both sides, then we get x equals uh, 10 minus 8, which is just 2. So let's do a couple more just like this. Now we have x minus 4 equals 22. Now the inverse operation is plus. We have x minus 4. The inverse of a subtraction is addition. So we want to add 4 to both sides. So we have x equals 22 plus 4. 22 plus 4 is 26. All right, now what if we have a division? x divided by 3 equals 6. The inverse operation to division is multiplication. So here we have x equals 6 times 3. So 6 times 3 is 18. One more, if we have multiplication and we want to do the inverse of that, we have 7x equals 28. What we want to do here is the inverse of multiplication, which is division. So in this case, we have x equals 28 divided by 7. 28 divided by 7 is just 4. So here we have four examples of inverse operations for algebraic equations.